<laughs> hey guys, so we get asked quite a bit about what we do for learning for Harvey when we're on the road. He's only three and a half, nearly four. Um, so we're just doing early childhood at the moment. Um, but we have him signed up with Te Kura, And that's the New Zealand Correspondence School. So every term they send out a box, don't they? Yeah. And this one's a, um, and a big triangle one. A big triangle one? No, a big uh, rectangle one. There you go. <laughs> Good learning. <laughs> um, so this one came with Grandma and Granddad when they arrived yesterday. Hey, they brought it down for us. It had arrived at our house, so we are going to open it up and have a look. So each term we get sent out a box and before it gets sent out we get a call from Harvey's teacher Kirsten and she asks me all the things that Harvey's into at the moment. So at the moment Harvey's decided he wants to be an engineer when he grows up so he's all into inventing and figuring out how things work and how to make things. So she decides which modules they will send us. So there's usually games and art supplies and puzzles and experiments that we can do and then we jump online and there's the learning that comes along with these modules so we work through them and send her photos or videos or um, Harvey's artwork and stuff when he's done them. Dye, what? needles and wool. What do you reckon we're going to make with those? Okay, I don't know, maybe a big robe. Some books. Maybe some ditch, maybe a ditch. What's this pack for? I don't know, it might be something to do with all our other bits and pieces here. Well Harvey's run off with the library books already, um, so he's left me to go through and sort it all out. But we have got some really cool stuff, there's a lot more than the first box. Um, we've got all sorts of art supplies, dyes, chalks, pastels, needles and thread and coloured paper and newsprint and they even put in a drop cloth to help keep the caravan clean. And then he's got puzzles, seasons puzzles, a shopping game, a firefighter game, a bushwalk game, garden equipment game and that's just one pack and they sent us two packs so I haven't even opened the second lot yet but pretty cool sunflower pack life cycle and seeds water in our world poster coast poster country poster bush poster and focus on the earth poster really neat pack he's gonna have so much fun with this so there isn't a hard and fast structure for the early childhood modules you kind of just work through them at your own pace there's no deadlines you don't have to do all of it if you don't want to you kind of just pick out what you're wanting to do and work your way through it at your own speed um, which is great for the kids because, and especially for us in the caravan because if we're somewhere different that has lots of places to explore we don't necessarily want to be sitting down inside and working through books or anything like that so yeah it works really well and um, we kind of just pick what to do depending on where we are and what we've got on so when we were in Tahuna Beach Holiday Park we had the beach right there so we did a whole module about the coast and we learnt about all sorts of things so it works kind of well with the travelling lifestyle I think um, being able to pick and choose what you're doing it's obviously a bit different once they are actually at school age and they've got to work through a, a bit more of a hard and fast curriculum and make sure they're keeping up with other kids their age but at Harvey's age it's, it's all good fun you know and that's how they learn at that age so yeah so in terms of my role in this, I keep in touch with his teacher, she gives me a call every now and then to see how we're getting on and see if I've got any questions um, and to ask about what Harvey's up to at the moment. Um, and there's also an app on my phone, um, Story Park, that we use to upload photos and videos and stories of what Harvey's been working on when he works his way through the stuff. Um, and his teacher can see that and she can leave comments on it and all sorts. So I can go on to the website and find the module that goes with the equipment that we've been sent um, and then I just sit down with Harvey on my laptop at the table and we work through um, and sometimes it'll be 
one page on the screen that we'll get through a day sometimes we'll get through five um, and we there'll be experiments that we've got to do along the way or little field trips we've got to make or whatever and it kind of just varies it so they're not just in front of the screen all the time um, and it's good for me to have that online but to go with the equipment as well so that I know what it kind of prompts me for all the different questions that I should be asking him and and going through and teaching him instead of just saying here's a puzzle about seasons put them together we can actually have you know it gives me those prompts to ask him and, and get him to learn about all the different things about seasons so yeah it's good so in this box they sent a whole bunch of art supplies as well and I know they can send you a whole lot more as well if you indicate that that's what your kid is interested in. So I would sort of said to the teacher he's more interested in technology and figuring out how things work and also being outside at the moment and learning about that. So that's what it was, what our box was based around this time around. Um, but they included a whole bunch of art supplies as well so that he's got some stuff that's a bit more free play. It's not attached to any module, he can do whatever he likes with it and just have fun and explore. Um, so in addition to the activity kits that we got sent, we also got sent out some library books, which is great. Um, they usually only send you a couple at a time, but there is the online library that you can access through Takuda as well. So you can just go on and browse through their selection and get them sent out to you. And then you just send them back when you're done and pick other ones. Um, but I think it's, I think you can only get four books at a time and they won't send them to us on the road um, they'll only send them to our house so then it's four books we've got to get them from our house to wherever we are at the time we usually don't have an ad address to send them to it's a bit of a hassle so they send a couple with his box because they know that's definitely going to get to us anyway um, and we can just return them whenever we want there's no time limit um, and they include prepaid um, bags for you to send them back as well but they also as well as the online library they have audiobooks on there that we can just download onto our phone and it means when we've been using that quite a bit so when we go on big drives um, to get from place to place we download a couple before we go and he can just sit there and listen to the stories while we're driving and it works out really good so that's how we do our schooling on the road it works quite well we have a lot of fun don't we yeah yeah so if you have any questions fire them down below and i'll do my best to answer them see ya <laughs>